as long as honky tonks and country music's been around, folks have flocked to Nashville and to Hatch Showprint. Founded in 1879, these days it's now located in the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum and has promoted some of the greatest acts of our time. From Elvis to Johnny Cash, Hank Williams, and Dolly Parton. A Hatch poster won't make or break you as a band or as an entertainer, but it'll certainly give you a loud kick through the door. <laughs> Advertising posters printed the same way for 140 years, by hand, utilizing the old-fashioned letterpress method. It's one at a time. One at a time, just like this. Meticulously carved wooden letters, some more than a century old still used to spell out each word. After 30 years up to his elbows in it, Jim Sheradden is handing the ink pot to Celine Aubrey. These are all working tools that we have, and so... It's, li it's living. Exactly, it's living history. There was a time way before radio or TV or the internet when Hatch was the only way a performer, black or white, could spread the word. How are you going to get these folks out of the cotton field, out of the coal mine? Big old hatch poster celebrating that entertainment that's coming to their hometown. Antique, yes, but far from obsolete. It's history, but it's not a museum piece. For today's musicians, a hatch print is a feather in your cap. This is for Friday's show. Cool. Here I am. Just ask the members of Old <laughs> Crow Medicine Show. Look at the company we're in. For us to be in that company is really the stuff that dreams are made of. I love that what we do, what we produce, the posters, forces people to stop and look. Our ever-evolving cultural history thrives along these hallowed walls. Kevin Tibbles, NBC News, Nashville. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.